Hi everyone, this is Chris Green. Today we're going to be talking a little more about just trying to spice up your uh, standard, you know, rock, metal, pentatonic and blues licks. Um, I can very much remember in my early stages of playing when I kind of first learned the pentatonic scale. <laughs> And I didn't even know what the blues note was. And I remember, i have been playing for like two years and I went around someone's house and he said, oh yeah, yeah, I learned this cool scale. And he played the blues note in there. I didn't want to say anything, but I was really gutted that I didn't know this and he'd only been playing a week or something. So I got that note straight into it. Now most of you out there already know about the blues scale. Um, what I want to try and do is introduce a couple more notes there. So um, for those of you that aren't aware of the uh, Dorian scale, it fits so perfectly with the blues scale. So instead of us just having this, uh, we're up in E position by the way, fret 12. Instead of having this uh, standard, which is nothing wrong with that. You know, it's a great scale, really cool scale. But as soon as you add the sixth and the nine, there's the six there, there's the nine there. Bang, straight away you got so much more color to your licks. So if we're playing that uh, full scale, you're gonna be coming down E minor, Dorian, 15 on the E string, 14, 12, same on the B, same on the G. So this is the really cool thing about this, is uh, you've got this really lovely symmetrical. So even just adding those extra couple of notes to your standard licks, you know, if you don't. So you had these like box standard blues licks. That kind of thing, you know. That's six, bending it to the flat seven. Okay, so another example of what I might play there. Okay, so whole scale, just remember, try and stick in the six, try and add in the nine to your blue scale. So there you go, that's how to add a little more color a little more flavor, a little more fire to some of those uh, pentatonic or blues licks that you might have been getting a little bored with. Uh, tune in for the full lesson, we'll go through some more specific licks and um, you know, hopefully we'll get things uh, you know, sounding a little more spicy. All right, I've been Chris Green, this has been Spicing Up Your Pentatonic Licks. See you next time.